Hey everyone, I'm Maggie from Hand to Mind. Thank you so much for joining me today at our fifth grade Teach at Home math video series. Today is week 11, day three, and we're gonna be talking about parentheses and brackets, part one. So the past couple of days, we've talked about order of operations. We're gonna continue our discussion, and today we're gonna to primarily focus on this first step of parentheses, and we're gonna add in brackets as well. I hope you're excited to get started. Let's go. Hey everyone, and thanks again for joining me on today's lesson, using parentheses and brackets, part one. Our first problem says there are four tables in the library. Each table has four red chairs and six blue chairs. There are six extra chairs in the back of the room. How many chairs are in the library? So in order to help us, we are gonna use our color tile. So if you have this at home, that is awesome and you can take those out and join me. If not, you could join me on the Braining Camp app website. And again, we're just using our color tiles to help us model the situation. So in the problem, it told us that each table had four red chairs and six blue chairs. So we have four red chairs and six blue chairs. We talked the past couple days about what the word each means. So it says four tables each have the four red chairs and the six blue chairs. So we talked about the word each means to multiply. And then in addition to that, we have the six chairs that are in the back of the library. And we're asked to find how many total chairs are in the library. Well, first, we're gonna start by modeling, modeling this just by using order of operations. If we didn't know what the parentheses or brackets, as we see here, meant. So we're gonna start by first using an array model to show the four times four. So I'm just gonna set up a four by four grid here. Showing, again, the multiplication of the four by four. Then this next six I'm gonna model because it just says plus six, I'm gonna model that by six One, two, three, four, five, six, awesome. And then we have plus six again on the end. So looking at this, can you tell me how many tiles are shown in this model? So we here we have 16 plus two rows of six. And that gives us a total of 28 tiles. Now we're going to look at this problem again, our, and this time we're going to pay attention to the parentheses and the brackets. So if you guys recall, parentheses mean that's what we're going to do first. So here we have 4 plus 6 inside parentheses, and that number is being multiplied by 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to lay down four red tiles representing the four red chairs at a table. Then the problem says that same table has six blue chairs. Two, three, four, five, six. So right there, that is one table. And we have four tables that look this way. So there's table two, table three, and table four. And then in addition, we have the six chairs that are in the back of the library. So that's two, three, four, five, six. So how many tiles are in this model? Are you thinking there are 46 tiles? You would be correct. So we built two models here to represent this problem. Can you explain to me or the person next to you, how are they different?
And which model correctly represents this problem? What do you think? Is anyone saying the second model? You would be correct. Notice that the second model shows that each of the four tables has four red chairs and six blue chairs. So again, here's table one, table two, table three, and table four. So each of the four tables has four plus six, so that's 10, 10 total seats. And we know that then four times 10 is equal to 40. And then we can add our six chairs that are at the back of the room. So our second model here would be correct. And notice for that one, we first had to add four plus six, then multiply the sum to four, and then finally add six to get our answer. So as a reminder, we always need to make sure we're following order of operations. First, we start with parentheses or brackets, working parentheses first, then to brackets, and then we can move on. Then is exponents, then multiplication or division, whichever comes first, moving left to right. Then addition and subtraction, again, using whichever comes first, moving left to right. So we always need to remember our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. The next problem says use color tiles to build the model and evaluate the expression. So in this example, we can see that what is inside our parentheses needs to come first. What is inside the parentheses? Are you thinking five plus four? Nice job. So we need to model five plus four with our color tiles. So all that's gonna look like is I'm gonna take five tiles, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna add four more. One, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna multiply that by three. So all I'm going to do is repeat that a total of three times. And if you have the color tiles, you can be doing this with the color tiles or you could be doing this on the Braining Camp website. So here we can see that we had our, first we had a row of nine total tiles and we're doing that a total of three times. So we have nine and nine and nine. So really what we're doing is we're taking three times nine and we know that product is 27. And if we were to count, we would have 27 total tiles on our problem here. The next one says to evaluate the expression and to write two equivalent expression using the principles of the order of operations. So here, let's first evaluate this problem. Evaluate just means to solve. So again, we need to follow our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And again, we look for parentheses first. So inside our parentheses here, we have seven minus two. What is seven minus two? Are you shouting five? Nice work. So after we do parentheses, we look for exponents. There's no exponent, so then we look for multiplication or division, whichever comes first, left to right. Do you see multiplication or division? Good, there's multiplication. Four times five is 20, and then we need to add two. We know that 20 plus two is equal to 22. So we know that our expression is equal to 22. We need to write two equivalent expressions that will give us the same answer of 22. So let's just start by doing something that might be simple for you. So for example, we know that 11 times two is equal to 22. So here would be my first equivalent expression. Second, I'm going to think 
that if I take 12 and I multiply it by 2, I know that 12 times 2 is 24. So I need to take that product and then I need to subtract 2 to get 22. So to check my math again, 12 times 2 is 24 and 24 minus 2 is 22. So these would be my two equivalent expressions. The next one says to evaluate the expression. So again, I need to think about PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So for this one, what are we going to do first? Go ahead and tell me, or maybe the person sitting next to you. So the first thing we have here is our parentheses. Inside our parentheses is 4 plus 2. And we know that 4 plus 2 is going to sum to 6. Then we have our bracket, and then I'm just going to copy everything else down. Then we are going to treat our brackets just like big parentheses. So we are going to subtract 8 minus 6. So we have 3 times and then 8 minus 6 is 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 is our final answer. So again, notice we started with the parentheses first, and then the brackets, and then we finally multiplied. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more resources, please check out our website at